I can't find the marshmallows. Oh, hello there, friend. Welcome to our haunted kitchen. I'm Sloppy. And I'm Sunshine. Now, I'll admit I'm not the best chef in the world. But I would rate myself probably an 85. 85 out of a million? <laughs> You're probably right. Tell them why the kitchen is haunted. It's because I'm afraid to open the refrigerator. But guess what? I'm gonna teach you how to make the spookiest dessert that will have your family freaked out for years. Uh, how many years? Years. Before we begin, I'm warning you. This horrific recipe may give your parents nightmares. And if you're afraid of zombies, spiders, and snakes, or ghosts, just remember, Halloween only comes once, once a, a year. year. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we're giving you some ghoulish ideas on using your candy to make the ultimate creepy crawler graveyard. No scaredy cats allowed in the kitchen. And my number one rule is always have fun. Step number one, gather ingredients. I find it easier to separate my supernatural sweets by dividing them into four categories. Slimy, crunchy, sticky, and yummy. Slimy will be the mud in the graveyard. You can use either pudding or yogurt. Crunchy will be the dirt in the graveyard. You can either use cookies, cereal, granola, or pretzels. Sticky includes frosting and sticky candy to add gruesome details to our mud monsters. Yummy is basically anything you can find in the candy jar. Your candy will transform into the creepy crawlers. Let's start hatching our spider army. This is one of the easiest tarantulas to make. Pull off the recess wrapper, stick in the pretzel legs, and add Cheerio eyes. How many legs does a spider have? Spiders have eight legs, but this is all I can fit. Ah, uh, he's looking cute. Let's call him Chewy. I'm going to make a couple more spider friends for you, Chewy. Oreo cookies are awesome to make creepy crawlers. They have that creamy center. I twist it open, grabs my legs, and skittles for eyeballs. Where do spiders live? Spiders are found on every continent in the world, except Antarctica. I guess it's too cold for them there. I'm not a fan of cold weather, unless I'm snowboarding. I'm gonna make a cookie spider next. I'm adding red frosting to its back, rice crispy polka dots, pretzel legs, and jelly bean eyes. What's that thing with the green legs? I was inspired to make this strange looking beetle called the potato bug, also known as the Jerusalem cricket. Check out my black widow. I made it out of a jelly bean. Nice job, but it's not as terrifying as my rattlesnake. Just wait until I put my graveyard together. You're gonna scream. Now it's time to crush our crunchy cookies. If you have Oreos, just scoop out the creamy filling. But that's the best part. Just relax. You'll see how this will all come together. I'm gonna start pouring the pudding in the bowl. Excellent. The slimy pudding and yogurt will be the mud, and then our crunchy topping will be the dirt. Grab your creepy crawlers and start decorating their graveyard. Bury a zombie worm in your pudding if you want to add the wow factor. Wow! This is the most spooktacular dessert I have ever seen. Our creepy crawler graveyard is done. How does it look? It looks disgusting. Well, that's good. That's the point. Now, don't be jealous. I'm gonna take the first bite. It's delicious. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween! We had so much fun making the creepy crawler graveyard. We're going grocery shopping for more candy. If you wanna come join, stick around and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Sloppy and Sunshine. Shopping during Halloween can be so overwhelming. That's why we need their help. If you see your favorite candy, comment below. And don't forget to sing along. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Candy, corn, pumpkin pie. Feed me now or I will cry. Lollipops, lemon drops. 